Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rogue Life, your bi weekly, or is that semi weekly, gaming live stream about roguelike games, in which secretly I'm just it's a fan cast of Sunless Sea. Did anybody know? Who would have guessed that? It's hard to say these kinds of things. By the way, I have a novel, it's in the doobly doo, which I'm totally stealing as a term for the little info box at the bottom of the stream. You should go check it out. It's a noir set in. A world where people YouTube too many things, like, for example, them playing video games. Damn. I've become what I beheld. Alright, fine. Anyway, let's get to the game. Now I've just got to make certain that I don't just dreadfully regret drinking two cups of coffee, two cups of water, and having breakfast directly before going on a live stream. But it's been a busy morning. I've got a book available on Amazon. I'd really love to read the flavor text of it, but then I would actually have to hop around between windows and I would never get anything done. It's the truth. Nonetheless, look at this. Look at all this. What are we doing with so many echoes inside of our purses? I could even sell crazy, oh god, I could sell the judgment egg. Oh, I should have, I meant to look up whether I'm supposed to do this or not, or if there's anything good that can come from the alarming scholar. Um, I just don't know what to do with them. Um, but no, I want to go to the shipyard. Uh, uh, temperance is what I already have. Uh, so if I had 2,000 Echoes, I would be able to buy a Cutter. Uh, with less hull, less capacity, better weight, worse quarters? Worse at iron? Why would anybody ever want this thing? It's awful. Uh, what I, what I desperately want is actually the, the cargo class merchant cruiser. That's the thing that I really want. Uh, instead, I think I'm going to go to Caminus Yards, and I'm going to get the Heart Ender. Oh, God, I would only barely be able to afford supplies, but then I think I would be able to do, like, significant damn damage to all sorts of bad guys. Um, and it fires really quick, and I would no longer be terrible at combat. Uh, why is my cargo so high? What the hell's in my hold? Uh, I have a bunch of stuff to sell. Uh, do I have any way? Okay, I've got a, I've still got the, the Dream Snakes mirror catch box. Good, I was worried that they'd stolen that, and I was going to be really, really sad. Because everything's terrible if they steal my stuff. Alright, alright, let's, uh, we have to go sell things. Um... I almost have enough Centilac. Uh, I'm going to pass on the strategic information. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not going to repair my hull. I need supplies, though. Supplies, 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 supplies. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to sell soup. I don't know what soup is good for. Who sells the damn soup? There's plenty. I hate you. Oh, God. I could sell the solace fruit. I don't even know what it's for. Sell, sell. I like money. I don't know what anything's for. Uh, sell, sell, sell. I like money. I got 2,000. I got 2,000 grand. It's it's time. Let's, let's make ourselves capable of pirate hunting. Uh... uh. What, 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 what? No, I just... This is the gun. This is the gun you're supposed to buy. This is what everybody says you're supposed to buy. I hate everything. Everything's the worst. Now I've got a thing in my hull that I can't use. Oh, it's a forward weapon. I don't have a forward slot. Everything's bad. We're all gonna die. Uh, everything's bad. I'm terrible at this game. 
I thought I was being good and following everyone's instructions, and instead I was being bad. Fenner's Desires doesn't want the things. Alarmy Scholar isn't buying anything that takes up space. Well, the Wakeful Idol, but I feel like that's important. Uh, let's go... Not to the London. I actually want to go to my... Uh, sorry, I should have done this at the end of the last one, but uh, regardless. Let's go to my lodgings and see if there's anything I can put in my study right now. Uh, Captivating treasures and secrets. I thought I could use outlandish artifact and seven secrets. Uh, almost ready. Ten outlandish artifacts. I can make an heirloom. All right. All right. All right. God, Brianna is like gonna get me killed because she just wants she just wants to see Penny die. I can only fit four supplies into my ship, which is definitely gonna get me killed. Um, I don't know what to do with romantic literature. Uh, is that something that I sell at the shops? Uh, approved romantic literature. Maybe I can find some place to sell that. That seems like a mighty, a mighty saleable thing. Uh, have I spent time with my child? Because that's really important. Uh, story. Go to the lodgings. Yes, I have. Okay. Have I read the news? Uh, yes, because it's gone. All right. Let's uh, let's literally fill up on provisions. And then go sailing. Okay, so I think I'm still supposed to head to the Chelinit. Uh, I could just simply go to Polythreme, go to the Chelinit, and just come back. Uh, drop by Esteval if need be and get supplies. I'm supposed to go to Avid Horizon. That's the whole point of this trip. All right, we're going to the Avid Horizon. Let's do the risky thing. All right, so we've got a long trip ahead of us with an astonishing amount of fuel and, uh, you know, are going to starve to death on the road. So that's pretty great. Um... For anyone who's been missing out, we are now on the 14th episode of Rogue Life. Uh, we lost Captain Penny in the first... Captain Eliza, sorry. In our first episode here on, uh, on the Sunless Sea. Captain Eliza went to Frostmourne and faced the trials that you can face there when she was far too low level to possibly handle even one of them. So I didn't really know what I was doing, which is kind of what this whole game is about. Uh, and, uh, yeah, now she's dead. And so then we started with Captain Penny, who I'd assumed would not survive, like, ten consecutive episodes of not dying. Did anybody make it? No. 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 Uh, also, for those not knowing, Hunter's Keep, you have an opportunity to, in my previous playthrough of this, uh, you have this opportunity to actually recruit one of the sisters from Hunter's Keep, one of the three sisters. Um, and sadly, I failed to do that because I got greedy, which is also where I got my wakeful idol. So, hmm, who knows, maybe it's great. Um, I sure am carrying a really expensive gun and no boat that can use it. I'm really annoyed by this. Okay, we'll drop by Demo Island. Uh, see if we, maybe we can reduce my terror by having some lunch. Oh, Jesus, that is the opposite of reducing terror. Okay, it hasn't noticed me. It hasn't noticed me. It's 
So we'll see. I don't know. Will I make a... Will I make a boy in this game? If I... If I die this time? I always play girls, but... Ah, uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Alright. Nothing strange is happening here. I'm going to... Compile a port report. And then have tea with the factor. The poor fellow needs some company, and he can spare an hour away from his schedule. An interlude. You sit on the veranda of the factor's house, looking out over the fungal jungle, an expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores, the scones are stale, even the tint, the tea has a hint of mildew. But the factor is good company. He shares odd stories about the ice and roses of Irem, the monstrosities of the Sea of Lilies, and a little restaurant in Venderbite where you enjoyed the mo where he enjoyed the most extraordinary seafood. Venderbite? I know! I've never met a tomb colonist who could cook. But you must visit the place. Do you know it? I have not. I've heard about this for like two, three weeks and still have never gone. He also has a load of bulgus frond carted around to you, aboard your ship. He waves away your thanks. I've eaten so many of the stuff, I fear that I might be transformed entirely into fungus. He leads confidently towards you. It happens, you know. But one does have to eat rather a lot of it first. I've lost terror. Yay! That was the whole point. Uh, no. Still got no space in the hold. So it's strange, my first novel, Nobody's Business, available on Amazon now and found inside the doobly-doo, uh, actually has a, uh, a, a male protagonist, because I didn't really want to risk sounding too much like an idiot when writing about my protagonist, um, and so I wanted to write something kind of familiar. Uh, and then uh, my, uh, my latest novel, uh, The Data Collector actually has a character I'm much more attached to. I don't know. I love the fuck out of Bogart. Anyway, you should read the fragments of, uh, of, of the data collector while you're at it on my webpage, because it's, uh, it's a very different novel. It's sort of like, what if hard-boiled detectives and Call of Cthulhu sort of hung out in the same place uh, while incidentally being recorded by the cast of uh, television Silicon Valley? I, I just wanted to make a, a light, poppy, uh, urban fantasy comedy noir. That's a lot of that's a lot of genres. Like, what are you gonna do uh, after really how astoundingly, astonishingly heavy uh, nobody's business is? I just wanted something uh, easier and less sad to write. And so I decided to tackle uh, the troubles of homelessness inside of Silicon Valley. It, it, it's a lighter book. It's just not lighter subject matter. In many ways, it's darker subject matter. There's just less murder? Oh, that's not even... Meh. I should do a body count. I should, I should get uh, Joe Bob Briggs to do a body count for me. Uh, we've been to Gators more than so many times. I'm not going to read the description there. Uh... I'm going to try to... I don't want... Oh, Solace Fruits are worthwhile. Uh, I'm going to try to gather intelligence. Uh, I don't want to add to my or lose crew before... I'm totally doing it. I've succeeded! Alright! Uh, Alright. Uh, let's see. What else can I do? I've never met the pirate poet. Uh, I have echoes to spare. I've lost five terror, lost a... A rousing evening, nevertheless. Your crew teaches the limpet a whole cycle of epically filthy sea shanties. At one point, you could swear you hear your name inserted into one of the more complex verses, but you maintain a... Dip but you maintain a diplomatic silence. I'm less scared, less scared is good, the musical number of the day, it is so fearful. Uh, I don't know why I'm swinging by Mount- oh god, everything's bad. Yep, it's uh, crack pirate steam pentacle, oh they're shooting. 
fart knockers. Oh, good lord. Full speed ahead. Get out of here. I've got nothing but fuel. Wow, they're really astonishingly dangerous. Uh, let's see if we can get out of here. I'm going to repair 10 hull damage instantly. Uh, don't I have a repair ability? I don't know if there's a risk to this. Yes, it consumes supply. No, stop. Everything's bad. I did not realize that would be consuming supplies. That's super bad. I'm gonna starve to death out here on this sunless sea, and it's all because I didn't want to die. Wait, that's terrible. Uh, I know a way to get food on this island. How's it going, Wistful Devilus? I need a crate of human souls. I am not going to give her my soul. I gained a supply. Okay. Alright. Everything's fine. Uh, I need Parabola Linen to pick her up. Uh, oh. Oh, no. That's bad. I got a port report. Uh, do they have shops? They do sell supplies. How's my cargo doing? <laughs> I know she wants it. What's funny is I've got like a really valuable soul, but she doesn't seem to be interested in the judgment egg. Oh, oh my god, we're almost at the Avid Horizon. The Avid Horizon is the gate at the end of the world. This is where my my child, the Snow Child, was born. My other child. I have a child in town. Oh. Oh, no. No. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone, Fostic Corsair. I don't want to die on the sea. Actually, I, I, don't, I do want to die on the sea. I just don't want to die on the sea right now. That, that would be fine. They might have my choice between dying on the sea and dying on an island. I'd rather die on the sea. This must be Void's approach. The air crackles with frosty... What the hell is that? Okay. Everything will be fine. <laughs> yes, true sailors do just scream. What the hell is that? Uh, at any given time. It's what we do. Avid Horizon. Now, I thought... What? I needed... Oh, where on earth do I get strategic information? Open the high gate. I need a bunch of materials for passage, that's right. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna gather intelligence because that's great. Uh, strategic information. I think I have to get that from the Conate. That's no good. I'm gonna look into the stars, it'll be great. You gain 10 terror, damn it. The stars float in the mirrored night of the waves. Watch them for a while, peace beneath the world. These are real stars. They burn above the roof of the Neath, beyond the earth, in the spaces of heaven. Even so far away, even now, their eyes are on you, but here in the night, under the world, you are safe. Safe. You return to your senses, gasping. Your hands are cold and numb. How long were you watching the stars? For one fragment? One fragment? That is not... No, that was not worth it. Everything's bad. Everything's bad. You're going to die out here. You know that, right? Fine. If there aren't shops on the Avid Horizon, I am aware of this. This is where I dropped off Mr. Sax, and he gave me Frosty the Snow Child. Uh, who I named Rose. Rose the Snow Child. I guess I'll go to the Chapel of Light, swing by Irem and, and Estival, and try to... try to pick up some claymen. Oh, 
shoot. Is that one of the moving islands? I don't think so. I think that's a normal, not horrible island. I'm gonna give it a wide berth anyway. Oh, is this a discoverable island? Nope. I'm supposed to look for something for my... Uh, I need to find the Dawn Machine, which is going to be out here somewhere. And what is my uh, terrifying, like, Paul-eyed uh, lady that I started with? What did she want to see? Because she hasn't, um, well, detonated yet. Uh, it's a weird game. Almost as weird as my novel in the doobly-doo. God, I'm just bad at this whole selling thing. My novel available today. Oh. Oh, God, I can get unaccountably packaged. All right. The Chapel of Lights. Furtive, faithful, furtive, faithful gather in the shadows beneath the many, many candles. A bell tolls in the chapel tower. Cracked iron laughter. Beware, the aisle is full of voices gonna gather intelligence a smiling priest in a red cossack tends the chapel the congregation are shy of light they come and go in little ships and it's strangely difficult to count them perhaps some of them are imaginary still you note the name of a ship or two yay Redens redensky bought it yes hooray Another sale for nobody's business. Uh, attend a service at the chapel. I'm not going to... No, I don't have supplies to do this stuff. Uh, I don't have a searing enigma. Oh. Ambiguous eolith. Where do I uh, trade three ambiguous eoliths for an extraordinary implication? Hmm. Hmm. I can give my nightmares to the well. Reduce your nightmare strength, but also scar you permanently. Increase you with... Oh, it'll give you wounds. Three wounds will kill you. Mmm. Mmm. Nah. Nope. Going on to Irem. Oh, Irem, I'll be able to buy... Uh, I'll be able to buy strategic information. Uh, because you can buy anything in Irem. Oh, but it might take secrets, which I may have a few of. Hmm. Hmm. So, I have the, the craziest idea for another stream to do, um, because my... Uh, roommate has been planning a LARP of sorts. A LARP? No, it's technically a LARP called Terror Drome that we've been pondering as we, we walk around the, the terrifying woods that are uh, just a little ways north of us. They're not terrifying at all. They're beautiful. And I've seen golden eagles and bald eagles. Actually, I've seen bald eagles. I haven't seen golden eagles. And red-tailed hawks and all sorts of things. And this is just my favorite stuff. Um, I will read the port report again because I love it so much. Irem, the pillared city, she will rise from the Z and the ice like dawn. She will be garlanded with red and decked with gold. The seven serpent will watch you longingly from its highest pe high pedestal. You will always arrive as a stranger, but when you leave, some part of you will always remain. When you will sit down to write the report, you will recall that it is written already. Who wrote it? The report records that it was already written when it was found. Who found it? The report describes another report, which will indicate the name of the finder. Where is the other report? There is a footnote which describes when you will record its location. When will that be? When all is well and all manner of thing is well. I need to come with coffee. Everyone remind me, coffee, lamentable relics. Now, oh, I can buy them with parabola linen? What? The, everything's for sale for dumb, confusing things. I could buy more judgment eggs if I really wanted to know what to do with those. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm looking for strategic information. Is this the one thing that isn't for sale? Oh, element of the dawn. Oh, it takes. 
supplies, which, no, I'm not going to starve myself for that. Uh, let's look, 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 look. Empty mirror catch box, judgment egg, which I know, no. Uh, searing enigma. I, this is the one thing that isn't for sale inside. If you die, I had one request. Fine. Fine, Irem, you're worthless. Uh, let us go to Estival. Uh, why do I have battle? Oh, battle's always an option. Okay, don't freak out, Trick. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You're just leaving the island. Oh, God. I'm leaving the island of the future. What does that even mean? Uh, where am I headed? Estival. For free supplies. Although, I think the supplies dwindle each time I do this, so this might be, like, the worst idea. Um... I should go to Nuncio and actually get rid of all of this, uh... That's why I bought my awesome cannon that doesn't fit on my ship. Is it alright to hiss at the monsters? I bet they would hiss at me if they had the opportunity. They might actually clatter. Or clack. I should get a better sound effects board. Just, like, do it all up. Alright. Best of all, gather supplies. Yay! I lost a crew, and I gained 10 supplies. You fill your stores with breadfruit, sugarcane, coconut, soft-shelled crabs, and plump birds too stupid to know a hungry sailor for a tree. But on the way back to the ship, one of your crew topples over with a groan. She's smiling blissfully. Go on, Cap'n, she says. I've missed the Zun. Really? Zun? Her eyes close. Sunlight is perilous for those who've lived in the Neath too long. Jesus. Um, yeah, I'll compile a port report. Nobody ever believes me. Yeah, of course there aren't shops. Uh, my hold is mostly full. Alright. Uh, I should go to the Chalinet first. And then head back toward Nuncio. <laughs> you can hiss at the screen of the Hellbug. Hellbug is right behind me, actually. Actually, I believe there's a pile of Hellbugs behind me. Uh, no, so, Murdered by Sunlight, uh, the, the Untersee, the place that we're at right now, is actually, uh, London finally paid its debt to, uh, to Hell by being pulled down into the Underworld. And so now, uh, this is actually one giant cave called the Untersee. Uh, in which Fallen London lives. It's all part of the fiction of Phil Better Games' Fallen London universe that can be found both on websites and on... Oh, God, no! The sea is bright as milk. False stars above are black on a pitchy bed. Something is watching you. Its gaze enfolds your boat. You are as transparent as glass. Turn the helm and flee across the milk-bright sea. This will reduce nightmare strength. If it reaches zero, the nightmare... Well, I'm really good at this because my heart is like nuts. I've lost nightmare strength. Uh, I've lost a restful night. Uh, succeeded in a heart challenge and I gained terror. Wonderful. An escape. The sea churns in your wake. Oh, hey, for the first time in like ages, it's actually called the sea. Uh, you pull away from the eye into the shallower waters of the waking, but a terror clings. Uh, as a strange side note, that eye is somewhere on the ocean. Um, so anyway, the denizens of London for generations now have actually lived underwater, and the sun hurts them. Alright, so we're getting near the Chalinate, because we've got all these giant corpses to deal with. Um, I don't think it's safe here. If I remember right, uh, I can run into those ships, which are super bad. The, the, the flesh and bone ships of the Chalinet. So, uh, almost to the port. Um, they're real bad. I won't be able to take a fight with them. I actually can't take a fight with basically anything. I'm still in the starter ship and I didn't boost my iron at all. Um, I might actually start spending on iron shortly. Oh, Chalinet, you are one of my favorite locations. Yeah, let's do... Oh, God. 
How much do I need a captivating treasure? Meet with your contact on your hunting trophy. Uh, compile a port report. I think I have... Someone is cry crying unusual wares. Follow the sound. The Scrimshaw Chronicler. A scrawny man squats beneath the awning of a gant-colored whale skin. Bring me your tails, he cries. Tails for the bone. Uh, oh. Oh, neat. Oh, this is a way to make outlandish artifacts. But I don't have hunting trophies because I don't have a gun. Uh, so I hope that was the port report I needed for the Admiralty. Because I think it was. Uh, let's go to Polythream and pick up... Oh, I should have tried to get fuel there. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll go to Polythreme. Uh, we'll check to see if fuel is there. Uh, we'll fill up our cargo hold with... Um, unwilling clay serpents! There's always a bigger ship. There is always a bigger ship. Um, I want summon bigger fish as an ability, but I don't think that's going to actually come up. Uh, I still have a task. I can't remember one of my... Uh, one of my crew actually wants me to kill, like, these super eels, but I didn't realize how dangerous they were, and so I, I saw one at one point, and I was like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna shoot at it, it'll be fine. I'd like to note, I have 75 max hit points, an ideal, like, bupkiss damage, and then this thing... Oh no. This thing had, like, 300 health and was, like, fast as a bullet. It's terrible. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzling with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades, but it's not a good omen. I can spin them a Z story if I had a Z story. Uh, there's a perfectly natural... Oh, yeah, because I've, I've got hearts. The darkness in the neath is more than an absence of light. It's a physical presence which distorts the shape of the world. Your light melts the darkness, restoring sanity to the world. You explain something of this to your Zaylers. It's, it's not the first time they've heard it, but they, they seem slightly less nervous. What's my fucking terror at? Okay, everything's fine. Uh, if terror eats 100, everything, everything goes bad. Uh, yeah, it would eat me first. It tried to eat me. It nearly destroyed my ship. And I was, like, next to the to the damn eel for, like, seconds. Um, but one of these guys wants me to kill one, and I'm just like, mm, no, that's not happening. Uh, hello, Polythreme. Can you give me some, uh... Oh, gather intelligence, because you always do, because you did just such good. Carry claim into London. How much? I need six units of cargo space. How's my hold doing? I barely have six units of cargo space. Yep, the endless... Okay, let's read this. Are they passengers or cargo? They're certainly the easiest passengers imaginable. Unless, just unless, one of them turns out to be an unfinished man. Each one lies down in its appointed position next to the other, nestled snugly, head, to f head by foot. We are for London, one explains to you. I'm gonna give them high-pitched voices next time. Uh, I can reduce... Uh, this is like the most difficult place to reduce terror. I could sell the Judgment's Egg for 600. I might not be able to get better than that. Uh... I know where I can get more. And I need money, because I have to buy a better boat. Alright. I'm almost completely out of fuel. Where am I going to get fuel? Godfall won't do it. Nuncio may have fuel. Otherwise, I've got to go up to Mount Palmerston. So. To Nuncio it is. Uh, to visit the, uh, the Postal Service. Uh, where I might... No! No, 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 no. They're not as dangerous as everything else, but they've got, like, three times my hit points! That's not true. They've got a little over twice my hit points. Everything's fine. Uh, but also, they're better pilots, and they've got more crew. Uh, because, guess what? Unfinished men are all... Not unfinished. Oh, are they? Unfinished men are all fearless because they're terrible clay people. Uh, which sounds like clay person racism, really, when you think about it too long. Like I do. Uh... It's good. I mean, it's not like there's just 
moaning, wailing faces looking up at me from the sea. Everything's fine, right? He's just singing a Z shanty. Uh, that, that, uh, oh god. The glassy chop of dark water, the iron clatter of feet at the hatchway. Everything's bad. This is... Everything that can be said in this box is... is... is bad. Fed the crew. That's bad. I don't... Oh, I've got plenty of food. I just don't have much fuel anymore. Oh, jeez. Uh... Yeah, okay. Hmm. I sure can't get very far on three fuel. Uh, I can't eat the crew for fuel either. Not that I would think about that. I've totally killed off crew for just no reason before. Okay, uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, I'm gonna send a port report. Uh, uh, is there anything I need at the tavern? Good, I can buy fuel. Good, good, good. Alright. But I need to go to the dead letter office. Which I will read. And burp into the mic. Shift work in the dead letter office. One of the various possible occupations here. None could be described as fast pace. Uh. Didn't I employ her? Oh well. Oh, I only have two Foxfire candles. I can't go down. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Descend to the basement with mirrors. I just, there's no chance that I'm going to do that. All right, kids, you have like 30 seconds to vote. Do I go down below without the right number of Foxfire candles or not? Um... It is my favorite story. I've done it once before. I actually did a whole blog post like a year ago about how much I love going down there. But I don't think I'll make it. So, I'll see your votes in the chat uh, while I try to shop and buy more fuel. I guess I shouldn't buy fuel until I've actually been down there because I can come back with stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, Drowning Pearls don't take up uh, inventory space. That's nice. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Mm, nobody's making votes. Uh-oh. Do it, kill Penny. I vote for doing it. Oh, God. D damn it. I'm sorry, Penny. It's been nice knowing you. Here you go. Arrange contraptions. Divert light. Illuminate what was... What has been dark a long time. Too dim. Your contraptions of fires and mirrors is clever, but insufficient. By the twelfth spiral you are walking in the darkness, and there is no knowing what might be waiting for you. Oh, jeez, fifteen terror. Okay, A, I'm not trying it again. Uh, the, uh, well, everyone, I'm sorry. That's your anti-climax. I'm going to die out here. Uh, shops, let's buy all the fuel I can. I'll buy four fuel. Um, that's all the space I have. Uh... I won't be able to go to the salt lines because I don't have cargo for it. Um, Nuncio isn't selling candles. Uh, I haven't been to Khan's Shadow in a long time. All right. All right, Khanate. Let's see if I can get a sponsor to uh, to visit the. Uh... uh, what? Oh God, I'm in the. I'm in the late ends of terror. A sailor has run mad. She roams the ship, cudgel in hand, smashing comrades to the deck. She cries, He is angry! Oh, he is angry! I can shoot her dead. I can talk her down. This is as good as I'm ever going to get at talking her down. Call her by name. Remind her who she is. Where? Why? Furious laughter. Oh, I had a name, but he's burnt it. Burnt like paper, like the tree on the hill. She lunges forward, bringing another victim to the deck before turning, sprinting to the foredeck, leaping overboard with a wild scream of joy. I've lost Storm's attention. 
I've lost a bunch of crew. And I failed with the hearts of 101. I've lost a bunch of crew. That's not good. That's another way to lose the game. Uh, I should get coffee. I should bring coffee with me, because I need, I need it for a couple of things now. Um, I need to bring coffee to Irem. I need three more Foxfire candles. I could do that. So here's the nuts thing, guys. I'm going out of town next week, and so I need to uh, have videos ready. Jeez, no, 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 no. Just, just stay really close to the coast. Uh, so I need to have videos ready to put up on Tuesday and on Thursday because I will not be live streaming from my vacation because that that sounds cool and all. It's just that I'm not bringing my computer. That would be really tough. Uh, Khan's Shadow. I'm compile a port report because you always do. Um, I still can't trade a hunting trophy for four watchful curios. I need an element of dawn. Oh! I know where to get that. Alright. Traveler's friends. <laughs> What's my uh, dream snake box? Which I'm not going to get them. Mile breaker. A frankly sinister device reduces the amount of fuel that an engine uses. It also really frightens the queue. crew, apparently that's necessary. Captivating treasure. Uh, somebody wants that. Uh, that's, that's all nice and good. Crate of human souls, because of course. Uh, okay. I could, once again, just buy fuel. I mean, it's out of markup, but whatever. I need to make certain not to run out of fuel. Where in Khan's glory? Can I compile a port report? Yeah, by the way, Genghis Khan didn't die. He just came underground and... Yeah, trying to follow me in here, pal. I'm more maneuverable than you. That's my only advantage. Uh, and so now... I can uh, I can meet with uh, Genghis Khan's descendants. I think I don't think it's you know the great Khan himself though. God, who knows? People live forever. Actually, people don't die down here uh, except on the Z. Uh, otherwise, everybody lives in uh, uh, Venderbite, where I'm supposed to be able to find a really nice restaurant, apparently, which is the strangest thing. Uh, I have a bunch of those. Offer a gift. Okay, let's read it. Here are the palaces of the Khan and his court, each a fortress to itself, sleek lords and ladies in belted robes breakfast on balconies. An unlikely antelope peeks at you from a park. Guns rotate easily on motorized gimbals. Give a gift to the Taman. You've gained one Taman's mercy. I've lost drowning pearls. In the yellow chamber by palace, the palace entrance, a masked functionary scrutinizes the pearls. Yes, she says. Even though, even through the mask, she does not meet your eyes. She rises, turns, and leaves. And I'm going to do that again. I don't know how many of these I need. Oh, there you go. Plead your case with Taman. Requires three. The Taman clan has long controlled the white and golds, the loyalty service who watch co Kaganians and foreigners alike. If they're convinced that your intentions are good, they may be lenient. Two masked functionaries hear your request. They confer briefly. One of them marks the paper in front of him. They wait for you to leave. You've lost Kagan's suspicion. Oh, damn it. That doesn't get me in. How do I get Le Leopard's con condescension? Taman's mercy. I'm going to cruise past. 
Cruise past the clan palaces. Khan's glory has a steely beauty, but the clan lords are ever suspicious of spies, and those gun emplacements are vigilant. Light blazes from every gate and window. You glimpse guards in gleaming uniforms, subterranean gardens of mauve and purple, hanging ornaments of scaled carnelian and jade, statues of warrior Khan's past. The water is dark and calm. The sentries watch you with calm distrust. I gain menaces. Uh, Memories of Distant Shores, Vale's Challenge, and Lost Terror. Not what I expected. Uh, but here's the funny thing. I was hoping... Oh, so I need Leopard. And that means Coffee Beans. No, there are no shops here. Interesting. Interesting. Now I have two big shipments of things to bring out here to do specific stuff. I could come out here with a bunch of Foxfire candles, five, and go to Nuncio, which I promised to do like seven episodes ago. <laughs> or I could uh, come here with a bunch of coffee and some coffee for Irem and do this same round trip again, except for I won't have any space for stuff. Like, I'll die, because I won't have supplies. I need a bigger ship. Seek a commercial license. Gather a port report. I'm not good. Establish a spy, which I need a diplomatic agent, and I can seek intelligence, but... Uh, I don't have enough access. I could hire crew. Uh, time in a tea house would cost me 50 echo, and I really should do it with all the terror I've got. Lost 50 echo, lost 3 terror? God! A gentle, trickling music plays behind screens of painted weed wood. Conate merchants sip tea and swap stories with darker-skinned elder continent captains. You sip pale golden tea and wince at the bill. Yeah, I do wince at the bill. God. Uh, no. Okay. They won't let me into the Conate quarter. All right. What are your shops? Oh, right. I can buy things for exorbitant prices. All right. Uh, I can go to Gator's Morn or Mount Palmerston. Um... I should just get back. I should just get back. Let's get out of here. How are we doing on stream time? We've got 15 minutes left. Now, I can get back to London in 15 minutes. That's definitely true. Might even be able to get there sooner. Um won't have much in the way of money. It's what I came here for. I've got some port reports. They'll give me some fuel for that. I'll still have loads of supplies. Um, so I should be able to make another trip really quick. Um. Oh, regardless. So I've got a couple of options when it comes to uh, what to do while I am uh, out of town. I could stream another two hours of this after shutting down the stream and looking up where to get strategic information, because this is just maddening. Um, how much is a bigger ship? Uh, 2,000. I will need a minimum of 2,000 of the currency to get a bigger ship. Um, and it's not even going to be bigger. I just think it's going to have a forward gun, um, which means that I can go pirate hunting, which is a great way to earn money. I'm going to explore the Morn. All right, a patriotic dispute. A crew of Chelinet hunters exchange heated insults with the Khanate privateer. It looks likely to end in blood. All of this is Iron's challenges. I'm, I'm goodbye, guys. I've gained a Veils just by leaving. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful, actually. Uh, oh, right, I can sell, I can buy a concealed compartment if I really felt like it. 
Uh, everything's so expensive here. All right. Uh, it's weird. So the next better ship appears to be a whole lot worse. Um, it's smaller. It has less health. Uh, it's got a smaller cabin. Uh, I think it weighs less, so the engine makes it quicker. Um, but uh, I'll check to see if it's got a forward gun position. Because if it does, then it might just be time to start upgrading uh, my iron with the sigil-ridden navigator and getting to down to some serious uh, murder business. Um... I think I can make it to Venderbite and live to uh, spend my fuel to, to, to have fuel. Get to London. Huh. I don't know. No, I'm not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make it. Murder hobo sailors. Well, I mean, that's kind of what we're at when it gets right down to it. Uh, I've tried to be pretty morally upstanding when it gets right down to it, but I feel like I, I kind of broke everything when I failed to save the, the poor sisters on, on that island just outside London. I'm still haunted by their screams. That's, I didn't want advice for captains. In fact, I should just throw the book overboard. Do have shops. You know what? With two, I should be able to go to Venderbite. He says, not knowing if that's true at all. Straight over. A lot of people have asked me to kill things, and a lot of stuff wants, like, oh god, no. Zaylers. Oh, very chancy challenge. 40 now. Zailers at the rail call softly. Something swims beneath the ship. I saw it look upon us, one says, his voice a-tremble. Call them away. Don't look! You've lost a terror, a shudder in the hull. Whatever's down there, it better not... It's better not to know. They'll forget soon enough. And that's part of why I want to raise my, raise my iron, is everybody keeps challenging that. And uh, I don't think Penny is good for subtlety. She's a former preacher... She's got the she's got like the the purest heart. Um, I think that if I survive this leg of the journey, because that's still not guaranteed, I am very very low on fuel. I should have bought one more. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, wait, how's my terror? 62. No, no, no. Bat swarms are bad. They carry off crew. Fuck it. I have to fight. Turn around. Full reverse. Full reverse. Fire. Get a firing solution. Shoot. I can handle bats. Bat swarm defeated. Little leathery corpses lie scattered across your deck. The rest of the swarm vanishes into the neathy dark. Gather up corpses. You've gained terror and supplies. Those little bones are troublesome, and the flesh a little gamey, but salt them well enough, and they're quite edible. I don't know where I'm supposed to go to get colors. So I have a task from Vendor Byte, um, from, like, it's not King, to... Oh, jeez. Uh... I'm in, I'm in a bad way on my hull.
Uh, if Penny dies, I have to make a new character. Now, what's nice about that is that I have a child back home, and I've already set up a will and testament, uh, and so I will be able to carry forward one of my uh, stats. So specifically, I'm going to take back hearts. Um, but if I actually get that child to uh, to become a captain, which I do by telling it stories uh, each time that I come back to London, uh, then I'll actually be able to take two stats forward. And uh, there are other ways to get additional stats that you can carry forward. So eventually, it doesn't suck as much to die. Uh, visit a certain fine restaurant. Fine cuisine. Okay, I'm going to read the Tomb Colony thing. On deck, you hear the sound of a thousand bandaged dead make as they shuffle and cough. It's something like the world's most restless concert audience or the world's most plague-ridden cathedral. A corkscrewed street. At the twisty tip of an odd little side street, welcoming yellow light glows from the glit-lettered windows of a restaurant. A sign reads, Vengeance of Jonah. A beefy tomb colonist bustles up. A gray mustache pokes impertinently out from under his bandages. Come in! Come in! I can recruit the bandaged Poissier as a cook. Is that what my cook is? I'm, I don't have a cook. I have 300 Echo. It's a cramped little place, but much better lit than most places in the tomb colonies. The scents of the dishes are multitudinous and extraordinary. Are they good? They might be. They might be good. It's difficult to tell. Uh, a sample today's special. It's a matter of luck. It could go either way. This is usually a more effective way of reducing terror than purchasing a dusty glass of wine. It will also reduce hunger. Meh, sure. A meal which defies description. The bandaged poisseur, owner of the Vengeance of Jonah, has identified seven flavors which are pleasant, seven which are unpleasant, and seven which are neither. The flavor of this meal are chiefly of the first kind. Uh, I'm going to go to the Vengeance of ha Jonah, and I'm going to hire you, sir. Ah, my captain, the things we shall catch, that we will consume, that what we will experience. We will discover the seventh sensation, you and I, the taste that one tastes within the heart. You there, sailor, careful with that braised alembic. It's worth more than your wretched soul. I have a bandaged poisseur. I'm going to go to my officers. I'm going to recruit a bandaged poisseur as my cook. He gives me extra hearts. That's even better. Right click to speak to him. Hello, sir. Oh, God, you look just phenomenal. You're a handsome man, sir. My captain, come to my little galley. What? Mind that pot of sauce. It's a, a um, vigorous in the extreme. Uh, I have more hearts than he can do. Dine with him. I need a strange catch and mooter salt and supplies. All right. That's great. That's great. Uh, let's go to the story. Uh, let's see. I can visit the first cure and gather gossip so that I've got a port report. Uh, explore vendor bite. Gained terror. Great. In the wide space behind the hollow temple, you happen across a stepped platform of sorts. Four statues guarded, marked with the glyphs all but lost to time and idle vandalism. They look a little like the glyphs that decorate the Echo Bazaar in London, though. At the heart of the platform is a long-filled well shaft, too. You poke about briefly, but something in the place makes you uneasy. A frost moth, the size of a farmer's hand, flutters down to perch on the well's edge. Another. A third. You retreat. Let's go. Uh, so if Penny dies... So last time, I foolishly uh, chose to keep my chart... Um, when, when Captain Eliza died and Captain Penny took over the ship. Um, and that's actually bad because that means you don't get exploration experience for visiting the places again. Now, mind you, she hadn't gone very far and I thought it would be more useful to have the chart than not. Um, but I was wrong. Like, it, it didn't prove super useful. Um, I, if I make it home, which is now in question... Uh, because I'm at one fuel, uh, I will be able to tell Z stories to my kid. 
if I do that, I think it will have enough desire to go to the C itself that I can play as Penny's child, the scion of the Z. Uh, however, um, Restless Knights. Uh, I'm just going to leave. Um, I get that one a lot. That one happens a lot when you when you return to London. Um, and it's just that you, your crew is having nightmares. I am about to run out of fuel. And I'm so close to Wolfstack. Um, Wolfstack is the docks in London. Ah! I came a little too close. Oh, no, 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 don't run out of fuel. Nyeh, nerds. Okay, no, okay, I get one more. An offer of assistance. This is so bad. They just they just take you for everything you have to drag you back to dock. Our fuel reserves are empty. I'm gonna make it. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Uh, Harbor master. Oh, good. Nobody searched my ship. Uh, something's changed in the niche. The oh, the alarming scholar has summoned me. That's exciting. Uh, I'm going to go to my lodgings and I'm going to talk to my family first. Uh, I'm going to give them a souvenir because I think that gives me more. Your child seems powerfully inclined to play with the artifact. Perhaps it will break. Perhaps there's a jewel inside or a map or a spirit. Perhaps it is edible. Perhaps you should employ a more vigilant nurse. I want to go away to sea. Your child wants to sign on with a ship. Already? But time passes quickly, and and most quickly on the Untersea. How many years have you been at Z? Don't ask. Time operates slyly out in the dark. A family tradition. If your child survives, many Zaylers don't. You of all people know that. This is how you gain a scion, allowing your next captain to choose two legacies. Setting your zero to... Z no, this is totally... Yeah, I've got a scion. All is well for now. New Year's Day, 1890... Quartermaster's assistant of legal age, signed on recommendation of legal guardian. Give equal treatment. You have a scion. When, when you die, the next generation will take up the torch. In the meantime, you will still live at home. They will still live at home. Probably. Oh, goodness. Okay, uh, let's go to the Alarming Scholar. A little present from the Scholar. Let's read the whole thing because it's been a while. The Alarming Scholar is mercurial, to say the least. A creature of sudden moons, moods and provoking teeth. Possibly he, her, is it her? Appointment as University Maritime Liaison was precautionary to keep his, is it his? Razor-sharp enthusiasm from causing too many injuries in the faculty... Ah, uh, yes. The scholar whispers breathily. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you brought me? A little present from the scholar. You've been so very helpful. I wanted to give you something for your next voyage. I bottled it myself. A dark glass. It smells pickled, chemical, salty. Once it might have been eelfish, but the scholar assures you that it is vital in nutritional virtues. Save it for an emergency, perhaps. Interesting. 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 Uh, that's all the time we have. Uh, so we will open up with a bit of bookkeeping uh, for the next stream. However, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you for joining the stream today. Uh, I had a delightful time. I do not know whether I'll be streaming again later today after getting some lunch and, uh, I don't know, uh, like, uh, pushing my book harder on the denizens of the internet. Uh, please do visit the doobly-doo. I actually think every single person in chat has purchased the book. Uh, so, uh, sell it to your friends, read the book. If you like it, review it. If you don't like it, please don't review it. Uh, and, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we will have a show of some kind next week, which I don't know how I'm going to pull off. So, uh, watch for details on that. Uh, anyway, please do support us on our Patreon. Patreon link is also in the doobly-doo. Uh, it can be found at crookedthimble.com as well as trickdempsey.com. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will see you, uh, next week. <laughs>